I made an appointment at Ulta to chop off about six inches or so of hair. It was getting to that point where it didn't want to do anything but fall out and tangle constantly and it's just a constant gray hair struggle. But it looks okay. It looks healthier now. And they straightened it, which is not what I typically like have them do, but I think that's when they realized they probably took more off than I asked. They straightened it. So it gets significantly shorter. The um, more you take off, the curlier and shorter it becomes. So, um, yeah, we'll see after I wash it and deal with it at home how short it actually is. It's probably right at my shoulder when it's curly, but you never know. And then tomorrow it is take off all of this growth because there is just a lot, a lot of brows. I have never been one to be short on body hair, which is pretty depressing. <laughs> It's already too, too bright, too early, too sunny, too hot. Wow. <laughs> but I've gone and picked up my, my coffee, so we'll be happy campers. Right, kids? So Steph built us these little chairs that I picked up. Um on Wayfair. They're already covered in dog fur, but the little ottomans slide in under there. But just the other day, a giant branch fell from this tree, these massive trees that provide a shade and barely missed taking out the furniture. So. I'm gonna sit out here for a little while and enjoy the shade and drink my coffee. Hey Dolly, do you like the ottoman? You just wanna get the peddings? Pickles and Bee don't care, they're over there playing. <laughs> Right, your sweetest little face, mamas. Sweetest little face. You just always want the loves, huh? Yeah. It is that time again <laughs> when I unpack some packages got a shipment from Nordstrom's I'm pretty sure this is La Mer I only bought a couple of things from the anniversary sale let's see what day is it today's the like 20th 19th 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 um, so I think it's only been live for a day now for the the general public so and a lot is showing out of stock but um as i said i believe in my video i think um things keep coming back in stock i get an email pretty much every night that my item's back in stock and i'm like so is it out of stock or not and so i go back and forth and back and forth and it's 
coming in and out of stock. So. really tight really tight now so this is the exact same little baggie that came out the last time I bought this set and this is the radiant regimen set so I believe it's the soft cream so a little less um, moisturizing, I guess. And then what also came was my Chanel order. So I finally, the restock happened for the color codes, whatever you call it. And I really wanted the little mirror in purple. Because purple is my color. So I love a Frickin' pee. And here I am complaining, but, you know, I could have, like, a frickin' knife or something in here, and maybe it would be not so. Oh, that's why. Because it's not just taped, it's glued down, so. Chanel. I've never bought from Chanel online before, so it comes with a little dealy bob. I'm assuming that's my receipt. Yeah. My receipt. A box. A box bag. Interesting. Like, stuff. Yeah, box bag. Interesting. So I got looks like some samples. Another Chanel card, I guess. And then the items. So cute. Alright. So I got, what did I get for samples? Black Chanel bag. Got sublimage. La Creme and number one. it's tiny <laughs> I thought it was gonna be at least like Harris this is the my glass nail file from Amazon I got a set of them for like 20 bucks so I have this giant one and then like a bunch of smaller ones and it's can you see that a third the size Little tiny, little tiny. Nail file, which you know, for like 30 bucks, I think I would get a decent size one, but hey, you know, it's Chanel. So I got the lavender. my keyboard. It seems so flimsy. 75 bucks. <laughs> I don't know. I think this is probably like made by Timu and just stamped with Chanel. But it's pretty. 
not sure it's worth $40 for geese and then 35 for this little tiny La Lime Anglais, the nail file. But they're cute and they're purple, so. All right. More adventures and home improvement. He's back like This fan we put in literally when we moved in, in 2020. And it just randomly now won't work. So can't figure it out. So he is taking that down. And then yesterday, there's a mess everywhere. Um, we went to Costco and they had this one, which is pretty much identical on sale for $99 or something like that. Has a remote, which is similar to what we have right here. But yeah, it just, that one stopped working. So this one's pretty energy efficient. Yeah, the light still works, it's just the fan won't work. So it's really strange. Anyway, so flip this, flip it around. Um, so yeah, it stopped working randomly. Um, all of a sudden, just the fan, its apparatus wouldn't work. The light still worked and everything. But because of where all our vent placement is in the house, um, it was very stagnant air right here in this, I call it the like dining room, kitchen, whatever this little section is. I think it's supposed to be a living room or no, family room area. I don't even know. This, the layout of the house is really funky. Anyway, um, the vent placement is horrible in here. So we put the fan in to move air around, especially with the AC, and it doesn't move easily. So it gets really warm in just this little tiny segment of the house and then everywhere else is fine. So we're hoping that this will help improve the airflow again. This gorgeous item just arrived. I just unpacked it from its box, which unfortunately was a little squished, but I think it's okay. So um, picked this up from Caleb's recent vlog sale. He gave me a screaming good deal. I've been lusting after this. So let me get it out of its dust bag. Isn't she a beauty? I love the two-tone hardware. This is just fab. And the large size, let me scoot over here real quick. So here is my medium size peekaboo and it's very structured. I'm sure it probably would loosen up over time, but I've had it for quite some time. God, I think it's going on almost a year now and it's still as structured as ever. I think it's because of the, the way it's, um, I don't think this is a cellier version. I'm really not up on the styles um, that they make the peekaboo in, so um, forgive me for not knowing exactly that information, but I keep it pretty stuffed. And then um, just this one, one is open. The other with the beading is closed back there, but it stays quite structured. There's where that mark on the leather is which is still pretty unnoticeable in my opinion but anyway um back to the one we're talking about the beautiful one this one i've been trying to pick up on fashion file some iteration of the large um just because i think it would fit my lifestyle a little bit better uh the size obviously it's a it can carry a whole lot more it has a crossbody strap that actually works for my frame. Um, I just really enjoy the way these, these work out. So it's stuffed. Here's the strap in there. I'm just really happy. And of course being black, it's like black, like my soul, everything I own pretty much. Um, I just live in black. So it just seemed to be a natural progression into picking up a black 
a black bag. But the ones that have been in pretty decent condition on Fashion File have been mostly grays and um, a couple of navies have showed up in this style, but no really nice condition black ones. So when Caleb came up for sale and I was on his Discord, I said, that's my bag. It has to come to my house. So I pre-ordered it from the early sale and it arrived in great condition. Love it. Good morning. It is a Sunday and it's relatively cool still this morning. I'm trying to think of what is weather. It's 60 degrees right now. It's going to be 80 something today, so not too bad. But the kids and I are out here and Steph just brought me my coffee. So enjoying that. So I'm trying to make a habit of coming out here at least on Sunday mornings and trying to relax outside because I don't come outside enough. I usually just come out to walk the dogs, so to speak, and then go right back inside and work all the time. So anyhow, um, yeah, trying to enjoy the relatively mild temperature we have right now and see if we can, um, Get some errands done later today. I think we have to go to Costco. Maybe Trader Joe's. I can't remember. And then um, need to do some filming. I was tagged in a couple of videos, so gotta get that done. It takes me forever to get things done. I'm I'm not a professional YouTuber, as you know, because I'm not very entertaining and I'm not very creative, but doing my best. Uh, went to the doctor, so do an update on that. Went to the doctor and um, discussed my uh, health issues that have occurred and um, had my blood drawn and because the uh, results came back that my um, insulin has been too um, productive. Is that responsive? I don't, I don't know what the word would be. Anyway, my uh, I am beyond okay as far as my um, monitoring levels or whatever. I don't even know what I want to call it. The way that you take care of your diabetes is the thing I'm trying to say. So I don't know if anybody is diabetic out there cares, but you have an A1C level. You get tested for it every few months and your ideal is supposed to be like under seven. And my last one was a five, which was like almost not being diabetic, like a normal person. And then um, this one came back at a 4.7, which is like too much insulin. So the doctor at my appointment had said, let's see what the result says and then I'll give you some advice. And so basically I need to cut back on um, what I was taking, um, the amount I was taking and just kind of do some edits on that and I got a new meter my meter um, disappeared I think during the car accident it must have flown into the into the car and just kind of got lost so anyway long story short it's uh, got some new devices some new tools and we'll make some changes and hopefully that will be good thing and pickles is doing good she is hyper as ever right now she's chewing on boo over there so she's taking on a dog three times her size and living for it so everything's good hello 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 i'm about ready to break a nail um another box has arrived from the anniversary sale and this should be the last of the items because I only bought, I think, three total things. So there should be, as I understand, two items in here. I ended up not getting the Byredo set because it sold out before even I could get um, access to the sale. 
which means there was barely any. And then I'm reading the reviews and they're basically deluxe samples and they didn't have, um, they're like not even droppers. They're just like little bottles with screw, screw lids to them. So people are not pleased with the format. I've read some reviews saying they're returning them and I'm like, well, that's kind of a waste, but whatever. So kind of glad I didn't get it, but at the same time, I, I really wanted to try some of their fragrances. So anyway, Byredo is not, is not for me. These out. That. that I picked up that blanket I talked about that was 20 bucks um the bliss plush Fro gray frost nice presentation for 20 bucks let's see how it feels yeah, it's nice I probably should pick up a couple more it would have made a nice gift so that's regret, but I wanted to try it out. So I I don't know if it's still available or not. I'll put up a text if it is. And then I got the Datique candles. You're getting a blue cast off my monitors for work. So I'm on my break. So this was the four candle set. Pretty decent size. Actually, it's like the same size height-wise as, ooh, high fragrance. Smell the roses. It's a really bays, roses, um, fig, and mimosa. Mimosa is the one I haven't had before, so let me pop that one out. I'm really excited about that one. Yeah. Oh, that's a horrible pour. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's the wax is all up on the glass that and the wick is completely submerged oh what a sh shoddy i almost cussed there this smells okay but oh my god that that's horrible quality I'm used to so much better from them. Oh my god, I'm disappointed. I mean, I can, I can get the wick out. It's not like the world's going to end, but... I mean, this is like a $30 candle. A little $30 votive. So... Hmm. Just saying, Diptyque. So that's a little bit disappointing. Oh well, it is what it is. That's the thing that I, it's, I'm just feeling that the things in the sale, the quality is getting crappier and the selection, the availability, it's like they're just not, not trying. So they, they want you to be at that influencer and I'm sorry, not influencer, the, um, the two top tiers I'll put them up on the screen if you're not at those levels that you can you know snag up the the stuff you, they don't care and it's just kind of I don't know it's I'm disappointed I'm sure there's others out there who are drinking the Kool-Aid and loving loving it but I've been shopping at Nordstrom's since I was a kid so I'm 47 I was shopping at the BP back when I was, you know, in grade school, getting my guest jeans and the and the like. So Nordstrom's always had a special place in my heart. And the anniversary sale, as an adult, I've been shopping for at least at least ten years, probably longer than that, but um, regularly, regularly at least ten years, but off and on as long as it's existed. And then of course they have the half yearly sale and all the other sales that they have. So I always thought of Norsham as top tier, at least especially for this location, this area that I live in. It's the only real top tier um, store, but now I'm thinking that I'm just going to 
start shopping at, you know, Neiman Marcus online and Saks online and taking my money elsewhere. Cause it's, I don't know, the rack's fine. And I'm thankfully getting a rack here down the street from my house in a couple months, they're building it. Or I should say converting an existing structure into a rack. Um, so that's exciting. Um, I'll still shop there. But the Nordstrom, the, the main store, I'm just not going to do it. And I know people are tired of me talking about it, but it's just like not what it used to be. Good morning. It's the last Saturday of July and it is time to go get these bad boys taken care of. I actually had to go twice this month. So I'm going every four weeks. I did it the first week of the month and this is this is horrible you'd think at my age these would be thinning out but no I've got like super growth so I'm gonna take care of these at Ulta going to the benefit brow bar and see how they turn out really quick this is the bag I'm carrying right now and my phone um it's a 14 pro max barely fits in it so I have to do it at kind of an angle but not quite as versatile as I thought it was going to be, but it's working out. I'll suffer through. Mission accomplished. I think Phoenix did a pretty good job, slightly red, but got a decent job there. And they gave you a, gave me a free eye mask while I was having my treatment. And then on the way out, the little sample trials all the things they have displayed in the line i got suckered into this item pink rose under eye brightening tint from milani i'm intrigued to see if that might help with some of that and then you can't really tell because of the filter on cinematic um Good mo molecules, discoloration, correcting serum, improves the appearance of hyperpigmentation and dark spots. So I've got a lot of that going on down here for some acne scarring um, and some around here. So um, yeah, intrigued to see. 76% water, 10% <laughs> propanedol. 5% glycerin, 4% niacinamide, 3% cetyl transamate, mycelate, and then alcohol, glycol, a bunch of trace ingredients. Not sure this is really anything that's going to do anything. I guess this propane at all. Propane at all? I wonder if that's the active ingredient. So shake well before use, apply on cleanse skin, cleanse tone, discoloration serum, then moisturize and then SPF. We'll see. Try it out. Saturday, July 29, we've, we've brought the whole family here for the first time in quite some time. Here's Dolly, Dolly always hangs close to us. The arrival of a black dog that's here from the run fast. So this is what Boo's been waiting for. <laughs> Hi, Pickles. Ooh. 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 Mm -hmm. 
There goes the black dog. Go chase it. I put that new eye cream on here and I don't think it's done anything, quite honestly. I look just as dead as I usually do. I just have some color because we were out in the sun. We took the dogs to the dog park. Yes, woof. And, <laughs> and they had some fun. Dolly overheated, so that is not so good. She doesn't do well in the in the heat. Get off the gray hair. Um, yeah, so anyway, that was July. Not a whole lot happened, although it was Steph's birthday and I completely forgot to vlog any of his birthday dinner or any of the things that we did that weekend. It was just kind of, I guess, chill and not too exciting, but anywho, just moseying along, enjoying, haven't been, have been enjoying the backyard though. So that's been a fun time. See y'all next month.